Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's use print layouts to save paper. So this is a trick I've been using for years to save paper. Say you want to print out a large document to read away from your computer. Could be a web page, could be a document somebody sent you. Well, you can print one page per one sheet of paper, but sometimes this is overkill. If the text is very large, you can actually combine pages onto one sheet of paper, say two pages or four pages. Let me show you how. So here I have a long article. It's uh, the MacMost article on online password security. And you can see it's pretty long. But say you want to print it out to read away from your computer, maybe give to a friend, you can print it. And if I expand the print area here by clicking on that button, I can see a preview and see that it's going to be nine pages to print out. But the text is relatively large and if you've got good eyes, you may want to actually save paper on this. The way to do that is to go down to this pop-up here, which allows you to select what you're looking at here in the print dialog. It's a little bit different for every program. So it's gonna be a little different for pages, for text edit, for Microsoft Word, but it's always there. If you go to layout, then you'll get this selection for pages per sheet. And say you can combine pages on a sheet and do two per sheet. And you can see here in the preview, I actually have a page on the left and the page on the right. So now instead of nine pages, I'm only printing five. I could even go further with that if the text was large enough and do say four or even more per sheet. I can also change the orientation of the page right above there, and I can also change the layout direction if I wanted to. Now, one thing that may help you also is changing the border. So for instance, if I see here, it looks like the pages kind of run into each other a little bit. I can create a single hairline border, and you can see now that there's a thin line around each page. When I print it out, it'll be easy to read from page to page. So here's the same thing in text edit. I have some text pasted into this document here. If I go to print it, Click there and I can see it's going to be 12 pages to print, but maybe I just want to print this out and take it with me on an airplane ride or to class. And so I will go and go to layout, change it to two pages per sheet. I'm going to put a thin line border around them. I can see it's only going to take six pages to print out now, saving me half the paper. One thing I use this for all the time is for travel. Say you're about to travel and you've got your uh, itinerary, you've got your hotel reservation, you, maybe you've got some information about the conference or whatever it is you're going to. I print it out, but instead of printing out all the pages for it, I'll combine it into two or four pages per sheet. So I actually have it. It's a very small print, but chances are I'm not going to have to refer to it anyway, or I may just need to get the confirmation number off of it. So I feel good that I've got a paper version of all that information in my luggage, but I didn't take up that much paper to print it out. One program you don't have to use this for is iPhoto. It already has functions built in to be able to print multiple pictures per sheet. So use iPhoto's functionality, not the print dialogs functionality. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.